This video was brought to you by Indently.io, learning Python made simple. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can split any iterable or list into equally sized chunks in Python. And that just means that we're going to group them into equally sized chunks, such as one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. Anyway, to get started, here I have a list of type integer, which just contains the integers starting from one to nine. And as of Python 3.12, we have a very convenient method that just allows us to get straight to the point. And to use it, we just need to import iter tools. And from iter tools, we're going to import batched. Now with this functionality, we can create a batch of type batched, and that's going to equal batched. And what we need to do inside is first insert that iterable, which can be the data we have here. And then we can decide into how many chunks we want to split it. So each chunk should contain, let's say three elements. Now, when we print this batch, we're not going to get anything back that's too interesting other than a batched object, which is incredibly memory efficient because it will give us back the data only when we ask for it, which means if we were to call next on this, it will give us the first element, then the second element, but only as we ask for it. And for more information on how this works, I recommend making a Google search on generators and iterators. Otherwise, going back to what we had earlier, another way we can actually see what's inside here is by flattening it. So we can just convert this into a list. And what you'll notice is that we will have three separate groups or three chunks, in other words. And if you want to change the chunk size, just change N. Here we can specify it to be two, and the next time we run it, we'll end up with these chunks. Of course, if you don't have an even amount of elements, it's going to have to do its best, and the last chunk is going to be the only one that is quite uneven, depending on the amount of elements you have. I don't think you can insert zero, though. Exactly. Logic. So that was the easiest way to split a list into equally sized chunks.